showing it twice that uh, the shape is still good, no? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm okay, but uh, yeah, like I said, it hasn't been the GRO that I hoped for uh, on a personal level, but um, you know, the sun's out now and uh, hopefully the <laughs> six degrees and rain is uh, all, all that stuff's behind us and we can, we can uh, yeah, enjoy some nice stages and there's some good opportunities ahead, so yeah, just trying to make the most of, of what we have here and, and uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the next few days. Yeah, and Egan Bernan having, having now a gap, there's maybe more chance for breakaway on the stage like today? So I hope so. I mean, the hard part on a day like today is, is actually getting in the breakaway. You know, it's, it's like uh, 60k downhill into a headwind. A little bit of a lottery if you, uh, you know, if you make the move or not. But um, yeah, if the break doesn't go before the first climb, then it makes it uh, a lot easier for a guy like me to be in there. And if you are in the breakaway, how to manage the end? There's a long climb and there is a shorter one, but steeper for the for the end. How to, to tackle that? Uh, I think today, you know, it's not. It's. I think it'll be decided on the last climb. Um, it's Segadiala is a really really tough climb. Um, they've done it a few times before in uh, Giro del Trentino, and so I think, you know, and there we saw like really big gaps, and uh, yeah, so I think. It doesn't matter how much, you, you, even in the breakaway, you need a lot of time on the peloton uh, coming into the last climb. Thank you very much. Best Thanks. of luck. Thank you. Cheers.